Hey there everyone, this is Lifebreak, welcome back to my playthrough of Etrian Odyssey 2. Today we are going to continue exploration of the second stratum, uh, sixth floor, and we have, uh, I have recently received comments on my Etrian Odyssey 3 playthrough, uh, and, oh my god, we're going on an EO3 tangent as I get back to where we were. Uh, so essentially, what, uh, has come down is that... Cloudbuster in EO3, I had mentioned that you cannot charge it, but some guy went out of his way and figured it out and posted a comment on one of my EO3's episodes, I think it was the Gatekeeper episode, and said, hey, 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 you can actually do that, and I was like, ooh, really? And I went over it and tested exactly the sequence he did it, and it worked. So, getting humiliated by fans is always the greatest thing. Thank you for everyone who ever contributes, even if you're like 10 months late. That is the point of this, is if you're even 10 months late, I will still listen to you, I'll still test it out, and I'll still be compliant and go like, oh hell yes, this does work, people will listen to what this guy has to say. Uh, just, you know, had to get that out of the way. Here, meet the MOA, uh, as I went off on a tangent. Um, usually MOA's, uh, MOA's in the upper right in the upper section of this floor will blindside you, but if you're, uh, in C or the C to F section, they don't. Surprise, so Just whenever you see them try to kill them as uh, as quickly as possible. They are weak to pierce I believe because they are bird type enemy uh, Viper tornado kills them once in one swoop But they have a party hit attack which means that they blindside you and they'll take they'll easily take out half of my health I don't know about everyone else I'm gonna quickly come up here and get the dead end now I'm gonna quickly wrap my way back around to A3, A4, and if I run into a new set, I'll see you, but otherwise, just see you there. <sighs> Man, pausing the wrong thing again. Alright, and we're here. Um, last time I went south, but the footage happened to, you know, just die, and it was horrible screechy audio, so it's like, nope! Not including that, so essentially I went down here, discovered the, uh, the take point and we're just going to continue up this over this way uh the take point items include mint leaf tri fruit and something else i completely forget so we'll just you know i'll give i'll let give you guys the breakdown of the take point items in, later in the episode when i farm money to get some mirage rods uh, and by some mirage mods i mean rods i mean just one but you know i also noted in the comments section in the previous episode uh uh, Non-battle medics can also take advantage of the Mirage Rods 50 TP as well as Alchemist. As since none of these classes are physical except for a battle medic, then it's also useful on them. Oh hey, it's these guys. Alright, easy enough. And regains a level. She hanged on with 1 HP the previous fight. Uh, those freaking things do like 35 damage per swipe or something. And so she lives she can live three swipes only if she has capped HP. Uh, tornado. No, no. Hang on, let me uh, check TP standings. Fifty nine. So we'll still be yeah we'll still be able to use it five times. So I don't see the problem getting this to seven now. Uh, we'll be able to use it four more times in this go. So that's good too. Up to the north should be not well. I don't think there is anything to. The, I don't remember if North is the way of progress or not. Pretty sure it's a dead end, so we'll investigate it first. Uh, check this little nub for anything. And go around this way. I think this is a way to either progress or locked door. I don't think it's a locked door, though. So, yeah, it's a treasure chest. I know. I, I remember the second stratum very well. Okay, meet the Mistyu. The Mistyu? Give his conditional drop if you kill him with Pierce. There's one big giant thing you need to know about Mistyu, though, is that he uh, kind of petrifies your teammates. This is why I bring two emergency Therica Bs on every trip I go on. I'm going to start by ridding of the Frilzar threat on the right. Swing a Viper over there, swing a Tornado over here. Uh, go ahead and swing Evil Eye and... Use a Volt Shot. I believe they're weak to Volts, so Volt Shot should actually get rid of him it, when combined with Tornado at the very least. So we're just going to check that out. No effect, no effect, terrified. Volt Shot, 114 damage. 
Oh, he hanged on by a thread. Let's see. Attack. Over there. Attack over there. Attack over there. Suicide. And because I don't want this to miss. Snipe. Jesus. Jason. He's hanging on by a thread again. Why do people have the tendency of hanging on with 1 HP when I'm recording, but never when I'm... It's either they always die or they always have like 20 HP left in, in my regular game, but... Nope, and during this recording session I've already had two close calls. That's always great. I don't... I wasn't paying attention if anyone leveled up, so hang on. Yoink, 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 yoink. Okay, no, no. And our various... Prize for facing the mystique is, uh, the stew is a fire jar. Woohoo! Fire jar. Not very useful. Uh, with the addition of tri fruits on this stratum, you can get unlimited jars now. But there's one little catch: is that you have to sell more, uh, more tri fruits if you want more jars. You know how a tree in Odyssey 3 had limited your nectar based on how many small flowers you got? Well, this game limits how many jars you get by how many tri fruit you get. And this is like one of the few instances, instances EO2 did. EO3 did it like everywhere. EO2 does it like only for a few select items, like the green nuts items and the tri fruit items. Uh, but otherwise, nothing else is really limited in this game, which just brings mass confusion and all that. So now, coming in here, we're going to run into a room with a bunch of trigords. Now, I'm not going to fight these trigords, I've already got what I wanted out of the trigord. Uh, which was their Cursed Bone, which gives me, you know, access to the Mirage Rod, which is amazing. So we're gonna quickly come back here as a dead end. I have no recollection of what this event does, so let's learn together. Investigate the end of a path. Berries marking a path, deliberate way. This place makes it think a human did this. Um, go ahead. Curiosity. Jason screams. Uh... Two saplings and grass bring up to catch Jason's leg. Rove berries, catch uh, catch wall game, and break the trap, but he loses 50 HP. Okay, so don't do this. Don't do that event. Okay, so now that we know how dangerous that is, let's back up and never see it again. Mistu? Oh, we got blindsided. Lovely. And thankfully that missed. Soft horn Amazonite. Not getting any conditionals, aren't I? Just getting some of the regulars. I may have already gotten the misuse conditional. I, mean, I wasn't super paying attention. Uh, Eric. You are leveling up whips to six. Yes. Climax is now available. We are going to be working on that for a while. Andrew is fine. Anna, you are working on curses to eight. Alright, that's everyone. Heal up. Waste of heal. All, no all normal in a day of Etriancy 2 is wasting heals. Come over here. That's right. He's going this way. That's fine. You can continue going this way. I want to cut the corner and hi. Let's see. Put that in. Now, because these are invisible FOEs, you can go ahead and just paint the floors ahead of time. There's just no reason to worry about it. Otherwise, you're not going to see them to begin with. You're not going to see them now. I'm not... Did, uh, I never actually tested it, but does Fosense check these guys out, or is it just you have to figure out where they are yourself? I'd like to know if Fosense works on them. I haven't ever, I have never tested that. Let's see, over here should be another. I know north is the locked, a locked area, but I think south is a treasure chest. So let's deal with this real quick. Tornado is, is doing much more damage. Notice that. And we killed that in one turn, so that makes me feel happy as well. Linda to level 16. That means she is getting her first level in, in Catechus. Now, Catechus is going to start supremely inaccurate. Doesn't stun often, doesn't, and it's only 200% damage through its inaccuracy, so you're actually better off atta normal attacking twice instead of trying to use Kadoshis, but we got it to one and we're going to be working on it for a while. However, now that we have it, I'm going to start trading levels between it and healer, to, you know, because level one cure is starting to do less and less of a benefit, as you can tell. 
it's just sapping my TP. So in order to help save TP, we're going to level up Healer along with it. And that is that. Over here should be nothing. Yes, yeah, a treasure chest. Which is the equivalent of nothing, I think. I don't I don't remember if this chest is actually useful. Hard Apis. Yeah, not entirely useful. I think Gandra can use it. Yeah, she can. Alright, awesome. So, moving on. Oops, that's not how you... Do this. Something tells me we're about to just kind of run out of steam, so... Alright, we are kind of running low on healing TP, but I have a t truckload of medicas that I still have left after, uh, I say I just bought, bought a bunch before I, uh, fought the Trigord previous episode. So I have a bunch of medicas left over, and we're gonna be using those like candy until we get out of here. Because I don't think I re remember bringing the warp wire, which isn't too big of a deal. Oops, going the wrong way. Encounter rate is insane. Okay, there's no, there's no trigords along this path, so this should be safer. Still want to know if Fosens tracks these guys. Alright. So this is another one by one. And that is a wall. And we, were, and we ran into a fight in the middle of nowhere. Thinking we have. Alright, let's get out of here. It's a good thing I could kill that in one turn, otherwise we might have had a Trigarder on our case. And through this door we go. I don't think anyone needs healing. I think I killed that set relatively quick. Alright. Fair enough. That's amazing. Let's... Nope. We are doing this wrong. Move this over here. In this game, the doors can't be colored through. Which... Because it's all surrounded by that darkish blue. Which is an interesting note. Uh, because in the EO3, I would color through the doors if they were gates and so on and so forth. In this game, you can't color through the doors. Uh, small 2x3. Drag that around like this. Go up here. And this way to the shortcut. Amazing. It's great. I think that leaves that. I think that's pretty much a good point to end off this episode on. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like much, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh man, let's get out of here before this uh, slow song gets to me. Go out through here. Let us restock on stuff, and I'm gonna go quickly. Gr Oops. Nope. Didn't mean to talk to you. Sell. Soft horns, open caps, milk staff, Cora, stud coat, bird whip, quill arm, hold rock. Okay, so we did get a special item, it was the hold rock. Uh, let's see, buy, weapons, milk staff, 48, 10 TP. I think for you that's good. Uh, let's see, Cora. Don't think we need a core because we got a broadsword. We already have the bird whip, armor, stud coat. Useful for the lanch necked party. Just for defense, go ahead and give it to you. We don't have money to give it to you, but we're gonna get. I'm gonna get money off screen. All right. Let's go quickly get the uh, item gathering team, and I'm gonna. Go ahead and start gathering this uh, this take point. I'm gonna see you guys at the take point. All right, we have arrived at the take point with the gather team. Let's figure out what we can get here. Mint leaf, mint leaf, mugwort, mugwort, mint leaf, mugwort. See if we get any tri fruit. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Either way, you're gonna have to live with it. And we get tri fruit. Amazing. Gonna continue getting this out of here out of money. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back and accept the quest because I know one of the quests actually requires me to get uh, mint leaf at this floor, so I think we can go ahead and access that quest. I'm gonna go back to town, get that quest. Uh, I'm gonna get be. I'm gonna see you guys when I get that quest. All right, we have returned to town. Let us go to the bar. 
Accept the quest. We are going to... I think medicinal research is what we need. And there's a worthy quest. Hospital. I have to bring them some ingredients. Uh, you'll have to talk to the lad at the hospital. You know where he is? Yes, of course. He's in the same place as he always is. So we go over to the hospital. And we talk to him. And he tells us that, yes, we have found the Pale Bloom. It's based on the same flower. Once you tore it, that's not his path. I wanted to help you guys finish it. Now, we're all set as far as flowers, but the other thing we need as well. It can only be found in the larvae, so I need you to retrieve them for us. We need, we need one mint leaf. Heard you can get them in the sixth floor. Just sell it instead of the trading and come back. All right, that's it. Have the ingredients, of course, because I just took them. So we come over here. We're going to sell this for money. Have access to Medica 2s, which is a great step up from Medica. Megworts for blind gas and tri fruits for the jars. Now, you can only get one jar per tri, uh, per tri fruit, and because tri fruit's kind of a rare item, you can't really get a, a good supplement of jars until, you know, later on. Uh, that's not to say I, don't, I won't need jars, but jars are just kind of an optional thing for the most part. So don't worry about having too many jars on you. So much, all over the hospital. Before I forget, doctor's here. We have Bren, your debt. Okay, great. Pay attention to the disease. And going, <laughs> she's gonna skip ahead. Watch yourselves out there. I'm gonna, fe uh, if you're feeling energy, stop by any time. I won't let anyone get any incurable disease. Not, my, yeah, yeah. Yes, this uh, hospital guy is kind of a nut. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it for today. I'm gonna farm enough money to get my, uh, my hexer that's, that shiny new Mirage Rod. But until then, until then, see you guys next time. Also, yes, I know, I completely zoned out and actually didn't turn these in. But you know what, I'm actually gonna hold on to the Dying Forest. I'm not quite done with it just yet. And we go to the Doctors and Medica too. Okay, great. Well, anyways, I'm also off-screen going to farm the Survivalist team up because they are in a much need... They need to be level. They just need to be higher level. I'm gonna see you guys later again.